Hey everyone, so I was on Pinterest and I came across this uh, menu here. Um, so when the user clicks, it expands and when they click again, it closes. So it's kind of like a toggle menu. So I wanted to recreate, um, I guess my version of this menu in Articulate Storyline 360. So I just wanted to show you how I did that. What I did was I created four lessons. Um, one is the intro, one's lesson one, lesson two, lesson three. And all I did for each of these lessons is just add a rectangle to kind of illustrate um, the functionality. So when we click our menu object, we will see what occurs. <clears throat> and I also created a, um, a naked player, I guess. Um, so when we preview this, you're going to see the menu that I created and the four lessons. And when you click each, you're going to see <clears throat> each of your elements appear. All right, so I just wanna show you how I did that. I worked within the Slide Master, so you want to go to View and then Slide Master. Now there's two layers. I've got the base layer, uh, which has a few triggers, and the open layer. So first I just created this little header um, as more of a design element, and then I created the icon, which is just a group of an oval and three minus signs. You could use an icon if you wanted to. Um, and then in the open pane, I recreated this menu that sort of appears here with a darker center point and then three ovals that have the, um, the numbers for each of the lessons. And then I triggered each of these um, <clears throat> ovals to jump to the specific layer um, or s rather scene that I wanted them to go to. So it looks like a lot but it's really not because I have four, um, four scenes so four of these triggers are just triggering to the scenes. Now to get the menu to work I had to create a variable so I created a false variable. I just named it menu, true, false, default value, false. And then I, on the base layer, I created a trigger that said to show the open layer when the menu variable changes if the menu is equal to true. And then I created um, this toggle uh, variable menu. So, Actually, I, you know what? I don't even think I need that. Let's just delete this for a moment. And then I'm going to preview the project again just to make sure it works. Oh, yes, I did need that. Okay, so I wasn't crazy. Here we go. So we're just going to add that toggle layer again, which to do that, you just go adjust variable menu equal not assignment when the user clicks and we're going to have it on our group okay so just close that make sure i didn't screw anything up do, do, do. all right perfect i didn't screw anything up so that's that's nice um so go back to your slide master and so I created the, the two um, triggers here on the base layer and then on the open layer, in addition to all of the jump to scene triggers, I went to this main oval here and I created two um, triggers. One is to hide layer, this layer, when the user clicks, and then the other is to set the menu variable equal to false when the user clicks. So that toggle variable here is going to toggle the variable from the default false 
to true when it's clicked. And so when it opens, it's going to be true, and that's why it's opening. But then when we close this layer, we want it to go back to false. So we need to set this menu equal to false again. Or, you know, we probably could do another toggle trigger. So let's just try that. Um, I'm going to delete this trigger. I'm going to create a toggle trigger. And this is just uh, me working through my own problems <laughs> live. So let's see if this worked or if I screwed something up. All right, so we've got it open. Yes, yeah, so that's what we want. That's a bit cleaner. So let's go back to the slide master. And so now on this main oval here, we've got hide layer, this layer when the user clicks. You know what? We might not even need that. So let's see here. Preview, entire project. Do, do, do. Yeah, I needed that. All right, so let's go back to Slide Master. Sorry, I'm jumping around a whole lot, but now we're just going to create a hide layer, this layer. All right, and I had that positioned at the top, so we're gonna keep that. So basically, in addition to your jump scenes, you're going to have one, two, so two triggers on the, um, the open layer, and then you're going to have two triggers on the main layer. And now when we close it, we have our player the way, or our custom menu, the way that I wanted to recreate this little menu. So it's not exactly the same, but it has very similar functionality. All right, so I hope that uh, that explained a bit of my thought process that went into the design here. And if you have any questions, leave one in the comments below and I will attempt to answer them.